Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about white guilt and why you should have it. We know he's really good and he's no longer going to be here. In honor of his legacy, we're not rioting, God. We're not shaming anybody, God. We're just humbling ourselves before you. Yes, Lord. You brought the thunder and rain today, God, because Satan takes the L today. Father, in Jesus' name, you get the victory. Father, we ask for forgiveness from our black brothers and sisters for years and years of racism, of systematic racism. We know he's really God. White guilt. Why don't you have it? Thank you for coming to the show. Just kidding. Okay. So, uh, man, to be honest with yourself, I don't think white guilt is something you should have. Mo mo Listen, here's the thing about slavery. And I know some people are going to hate me on this one. But first of all, slavery started over in Africa. We got sold by our own people. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, black people selling black people. We were a commodity. Um, and that's what it was. Okay. We're not going to get too deep into that. It is what it is. Was slavery a bad thing? Yes. Does slavery still happen today? Yes. Is slavery only a black thing? No. Slavery obviously happened to the Native Americans. It happened to us. There are white slaves. There are women slaves. There are slaves we see all the time, all day in sex trafficking and uh, human trafficking slaves. Um, but nobody wants to talk about that. They only want to talk about the black people. They only want to talk about how there were black slaves. Even though we still see human trafficking, we still decide we're going to go hop on XXX.com and keep looking at it. Oh, baby, I'm getting into it. All I'm saying, to be honest with you, <clears throat> White people should never have to do this. I, I hate always talking about race. And I get tired of saying white and black because it seems like it's always between us because of the whole slavery concept. But I don't think that you should feel guilty for being white for something you never did. Right. Um, even to be honest with you, I think it would have been wild when slavery got abolished. If all the white people would have did this right then. You know what I mean? I think they could have been like, hey, guys, we screwed up. You know, we were doing some things wrong. It, it wasn't like it was all white people. First of all. Not all white people could afford slaves. Not like every white person that came over here immediately got a slave. Okay. There were poor white people. There were people who didn't have anything. Right. And I just hate the concept because what it makes me think about always when I see the white guilt thing is this always to me makes us feel like black people are just inferior. Like that we have to constantly be told that we're, uh, people have to apologize to us. People need to get on their knees for us. It's like it makes me feel more inferior. It doesn't mean it doesn't make me feel a part of because the fact that white people can get on their knee and say that they're sorry. Pretty much to me is saying that if they decided not to be sorry, that they could just they could obviously just overtake us. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm weird about that. But when it just comes to the whole black and white thing, I think when we keep pulling racism into it. To me, it makes it feel like black people aren't a part of. We're just always going to be the outside looking in. We're always going to be necessarily needing somebody to hold our hand. We're going to need somebody to get us through, to teach us, to raise us. It's like, I just want us to feel like human beings like everybody else. And I think that's what society is trying to do. But every time we start to get there, something happens, something tragic happens. And then we go right back to, well, black people are just trying to do this and white people are trying to do that. And it's just like, oh, man, it's just like it feels like they don't want us to get out. And when I say they, I mean, I feel like some people profit off of there being distinction between white and black people. We saw that happen with Black Lives Matter, right? We, we all know the story now. So when that whole debacle happened and all that money went to nothing, um, it, some people profited off that. And some people profit off the backs of people either being guilty for what they feel like they did or people being like, oh, I deserve uh, for you to be this way because I'm black. Oh, I didn't make it in life because I'm black. I did this because I'm black. I didn't get promoted because I'm black. It's just like. Me personally, and this is only my personal story. I've been, I've been obviously been around black people. I've been around white people. I grew up in a white neighborhood. I grew up at a white town, white school, went to a white college. Um, and then I went to a black college. And so I've kind of, and then more of my adult life, I was around a lot more blacks. Like I said, keep my ear to the streets. And so when I started getting more around black people, I met so many diverse. I met people, black people who were obviously successful in my Black people who were obviously not successful, just like I did with white people. So even after being in both cultures and being super involved, I never felt like they were super different. But it seems like it seems like when you get into the social media life, 
it seems like there's always a distinction between us. It's always a difference between us. And it's always this whole thing of black people asking and wanting everything from the white man. They can't succeed because they're black. They can't get promoted because they're black. They can't go to a certain college because they're black. They don't make certain grades because they're black. It's just like, in some cases, does it make a difference where you grow up? If you grow up in the inner city, I'm sure. But you think the white kids are succeeding in the inner city? Nope. Okay. I grew up in middle class. I knew a lot of my friends who were white, right? Who didn't have nothing. Broke as can be. And I could tell you something. I looked down on those people as a kid. And I was black. Because to me, man, when it really boils down to, it really boils down to wealth. Meaning that no matter where you grow up, wealth is always getting, to me, is normally what I see is always the biggest divider. When I've been around in the black culture, the black, there was black people who looked down on the people, the black people who made less money. I had supervisors who treated us employees like we were less than because they drove a better car because they got paid a little bit more than us. Right. Both of us are black. Right. But one is treating me different because they make more money than I do. When I was in the white uh, neighborhoods and I live, no, I didn't live. I had friends who had big old mansions, baby, big old mansions had uh, their families were doctors. They were lawyers. I mean, had money galore. You don't think they look down on the people, the white kids who grew up in the trailer park? They were not the same. When you met a white kid from the trailer park and you met a white kid who had a doctor, uh, had a doctor family, they did not hang out with each other. They were not cool. They lived completely different lives. There were cliques based on your wealth most of the time. And every now and then it'd be a little bit of mixing. But a lot of time, the kids with more money hung out with the kids with more money. The kids who had less money, they hang out in the trailer park. I was right in the middle so I could hang out with either, you know? I'm just saying, it's just this divide that black and white people have to keep having is just foolish to me. It just is. And I'm just tired of the whole feeling like I'm inferior, right? That I need to be praised when I do something a white guy did, right? If right now, let's say I became <clears throat> a lawyer, you know what they're going to do to me? They're going to put me on Facebook and be like, look at this black man who became a lawyer. It's like, no, I'm just a man who became a lawyer. You saying to me being a black man becoming a lawyer, is, to me it sounds like, oh, I'm, I'm just lucky to get here. You know, I'm black, but, you know, I have to climb through the trenches and everything because I'm black. Like I didn't. I'm just another guy who made it just like this other guy. You wouldn't put a white man on here and say he's good. Congratulations to him being a lawyer. But just because I'm black, I'm supposed to be celebrated because I made it to being a lawyer. I just want to be treated normal, man. I don't care about the color of my skin. I don't. Right. I, I never have. I never will. I don't ever want to be praised. And I don't want to ever hear I was the first black man. I was a black man to do this. I don't want to hear about being a black creator. I hate all that. Some of y'all may love it. That's fine. We all have our different opinions. I just don't personally like my skin color being brought into it because I'm a competitive guy. And so if you tell me that, oh, I was a I'm a. If you tell me that I made it to the top because and you're proud of me because I'm a black man who made it to the top, I don't like that. But if you say I'm better, right, I made it to the top because I was better than all these men. I put in more work than these men, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. It doesn't matter. I'm better than all of them. I feel better about that. And I'm not saying like better, like character wise. I mean, like if we bring like I was a salesman for a while. I want to be the top salesman. I don't want to be the top black salesman. I want to be the top salesman amongst everybody. Man, woman, or beast. It doesn't matter. When you see my name, I'm above it all. Because I put in the work to do that. All right? That's what I want. Does that make sense to you guys? I know I'm making it a little bit different, but that's just how I feel. I don't feel like nobody needs to get on their knees and say, Troy, I'm sorry for something that happened way before we were ever born. I, I don't need all that, man. I'm over it. I don't care about the slavery stuff. Hey, man, there's a lot of black men who are successful out here. And it doesn't matter, man. They're, they're respected amongst all their peers. Not because they're black, but because they're good at what they do. And that's all I want. Don't get on your knees and tell me you're guilty. No. Man to man, we on the same playing field. Except for, you know, when it comes to wealth. Let me know what you think. I could talk about this all day, but I feel like I'm talking myself in the circles. So I'm gone. <laughs>